This is a review of the Columbia Timberline 8x42 binocular. This was sent to me on loan by uh, Doug from Cameraland to do a review and to check them out so I could um, give them a once over and make a recommendation or disrecommendation based on uh, what you see here and the price point and what you get for the money and uh, so I intend to do that. Um, this this binocular right now is selling at Cameraland for about eighty dollars uh, and it's a uh, again an 8x42 it weighs about 24 ounces about the same size as as uh, most of the other 8x42's that are out right now and uh, I'll say it right now this is the best value that I have seen in binoculars uh, so far and I will compare it to a few others here in just a moment uh, the field of view out of this is uh, 39 feet for uh, a 100 foot distance. Um, it's got an excellent rubber armor around the whole binocular uh, that is reminiscent of or similar to many of the other high-end optics that you'll see and has become fairly standard. I would actually say that the rubber armor on this binocular, I like it better than the, the armor found on Zeiss binoculars. Or on the class, or on the classic series, or the uh, the newer series, it feels tougher. It feels more durable, and uh, you know that's one of the reasons I haven't fell in love with the Zeiss optics is because of the way they feel. They feel kind of plasticky, while these binoculars feel like they've kind of like the uh, Leica feel. You know, the uh, a good hinge. They feel tough. They feel like they could stand up to abuse. Now I know I'm going to heap a lot of praise on these for how much they cost and. Um, but um, hear me out. Uh, these binoculars are made by Kruger Optical. There was another excellent review of some of the other Kruger binoculars on uh, some of the forums recently by one of our members and I don't know a whole lot about them. I did find out however that the uh, they come with a lifetime war a limited lifetime warranty that is good for the original owner. Uh, they will fix or replace anything that happens that's not caused by uh, I guess normal wear and tear. So not as good as some of the others but probably better than some of the other uh, warranties that we've seen. Uh, for the price point that these come in at, I don't think you can beat them. Um, their their closeout it looks like made for Columbia by Kruger and uh, they did an excellent job. They're made in China as many of the binoculars are these days. Uh, pretty much everything under $500. Uh, and for under $100, I don't think you can touch these. I've sat out on my front porch and I've done a few hikes with these so far. And granted, I don't have any mid-tier binoculars to compare them with right now, but I'll show you what I did compare them with and I'll tell you how they came out. Uh, first, you know, you hear so much about the Lupo Yosemites and how much everybody likes them and they cost about the same. Uh, and I have never tried them, I've never seen them, so I went down to Cabela's, which is just down the street, and I bought me some. And they look like the little newer version than the older version. They've got the newer armor. Um, this is the 6X. They didn't have the 8X. I would have liked to have compared apples to apples with the 8X, and I know we've got one roof and one poro. But uh, I've uh, compared them head-to-head -head with these uh, Leupolds. And then I've got uh, several Swarovski binoculars. I've got the... Uh, the 8x32 excellent EL and that's the only other 8x binocular I had to compare and the uh, 10x42 uh, Swarovision Swarovski let's get those out of the way and then I've got a 6.5 Minox binocular this is the IF uh, individual focus eye cap uh, binocular that I've had for some time now and uh, that's another excellent binocular that uh, Minox doesn't make anymore that I got from Doug at Cameraland. So uh, stacking this binocular up against the tough competition it really held its own. I was very very impressed. I, uh, if you were to hand me this binocular and ask me what you thought or what I thought it cost I would probably guess uh, in the $300 range. Um, they are very similar I would say to the the Vortex line, not the Razors, but the uh, the Vipers and the Diamondbacks or the uh, Zen Rays, they 
uh, they've, these, this has got a single piano style hinge, not like the uh, the open bridge style of some of the others. But it feels like it's about that same class. They're all made in China. They all uh, really start are pushing these uh, European optics and optical companies for what your dollar can buy. And for under one hundred dollars, you are not going to touch this binocular uh, or even get close. Uh, based on what everybody else had been saying about the loophole Yosemite, I was quite uh, eager to try it out. And I'll, these ones were a hundred bucks. They were supposed to be on sale for eighty, but this is the newer version. I think the I didn't want to wait uh, for the older version online, so I just went drove down and bought these out of the store. Um, but I can say that uh, the these bin binoculars from uh, Columbia slash Kruger Optical feel like two or three times the binocular as this loophole Yosemite. Uh, the Yosemite is a great binocular. You know, I used it at Handy. It'd be great for children uh, or like a little throw around binocular, but it just feels much cheaper. It feels like it, uh, I don't know exactly what it is, the focus mechanism, the eye cups, but it just feels like it's not uh, of the same build quality as the uh, this Columbia binocular. Um, these uh, Minox binoculars, again another comparison. These are, you know, it's not apples to apples, but it's all I have right now. Um, they're both lower magnification, of course, than this one. Optically, uh, the Columbia, I would say, is just as good as the other two, if not better. Um, you know, and that's obviously considering the magnification differences. Uh, what I like and what I don't like, <clears throat> I really love the focus wheel on these. It's a little longer focus than some of the other binoculars, so you'll have to turn it a little more to get to where you want to be, to get to that sweet spot. But it is a very smooth focus. The focus wheel on the Columbia, is, I would say, is better than my uh, Swarovski Swarovisions. The Swarovision feels kind of a little grainy and gritty. The focus on this is very smooth. Um, it's uh, one of the best features of this binocular. One thing I don't like is the eye cups and the detents in the eye cups. They've, uh, there's three positions there. You can see by millimeter, seven and a half, eleven, or fourteen and a half, and that's upside down. Uh, but there isn't a very solid feeling stop. Now I was worried about that, so I set them to some of these different settings, and I would try pushing them up against my face or my my brow to try to push that in, and they would stay. You know, I was surprised at how well they stayed. So that might not be a problem, that might just be perceived problem. They just don't seem to have that uh, tactile click uh, that I would like to feel when I was uh, snapping those in. I know a lot of times when I'm hunting, some of the binoculars tend to creep back down and then when you pull it up you have to hurry and bring it back out. So uh, I would look for that uh, in the future. The glass on these is excellent. Uh, several nights I set out a, uh, oops, excuse me, there's the phone. Okay, so the glass on these is excellent. I sat out on my front porch and put a reading chart out maybe, oh, a hundred yards away. And I sat with some of these other binoculars at dusk and tried to make these out. Um, and these uh, Columbia's really did a great job of resolving the uh, letters and numbers and being able to pick those out. Yeah. Uh, the sweet spot is not as good in these as they are in the high dollar binoculars, obviously. We're comparing apples to oranges, 2000 plus dollars to uh, 100 But uh, as far as just basic resolution and brightness and clarity, they were spot on. Chromatic aberration and some of the other things, there was a little but not much. You know, I watched some of the birds and the quakies outside of my uh, uh, porch area here, and they were very impressive. Um, compared to uh, the Leupolds and the Minox, I think they are quite a bit better and a, uh, a better buy. And anybody looking for a binocular under, you know, $300, uh, this would be a great option.
you know, I've, I've never dealt with Kruger or any warranty issues. I had never heard of them actually until Doug sent me these binoculars. So I'm not sure how that will work. But uh, for 80 bucks, you can pretty much take a gamble and, and hope for the best. Some of the other features on these, they've got fully multicoated optics. Uh, they've got back four prisms for uh, brightness. The close focus, I know that's not as important to most of us as it is to birders and people look at butterflies and things, but is excellent on these. You can get down to about one meter. They've got a, it says a metal body construction, I would imagine, uh, you know, aluminum, uh, probably. Uh, so they're built for toughness. They're waterproof, they're fog proof, uh, nitrogen processed. They've got an eye relief of 18 millimeters, and I, I found that to be pretty good. You know, you can see the ghosting black image around the, uh, the outside of your field of view that sometimes uh, it doesn't have the uh, forgiveness of some of the higher dollar binoculars, but say, I, that was not a problem for me. Um, the grip on these is great. Again, they feel reminiscent of some of the, the uh, Leica binoculars with that sturdy piano style hinge. Um, they come with a carrying case. You know, I've never found any use for these things. I usually just put them in a drawer somewhere, but a lot of you guys might use them. Uh, with some of the, like a strap and the usual binocular accessories. Um, come in a uh, neat little box here. This would be a great gift really for, you know, a son or a daughter, somebody who's getting into hunting or wildlife viewing. So uh, let me crack this open and show you the rest of the stuff. You've also got your eye cups in there and your strap. Uh, looks like a warranty card and some instruction manual. The warranty card goes to Kruger Optical. So again, uh, to summarize, these things, uh, in my opinion, are the best buy on the market right now for as far as any that I've seen. I've owned pretty much all of the uh, middle to low tier binoculars. Um, I've owned Zenray, the one Vortex, Minox, any of the others. And for 80 bucks, you can't beat these. You know, we'll have to see how they stand up against the test of time and uh, some of the other you know, real trials that hunters and outdoorsmen put on these things, but for the money, you can't beat them. And I think anybody who went with these as a general overall, yeah, either a truck binocular or something to give to your kids, or even, you know, you could even use this as your primary binocular if you're short on money. This would be a great buy and a great decision, and I give these my uh, highest recommendation for the price point. Thanks.